So one thing that drew me to Brown in the first place was that so many different countries and cultures were represented. And when I came here, I knew I made the right choice because I could definitely share uh, like my background and my religious beliefs. And like right now it's Ramadan and Brentwood is totally accommodating like my teachers, my sport coaches and the calf, like we've all worked out a plan. And it's just really cool that you could continue to do what you believe in here. I guess the first thing to narrow down is which country or region do you want to go to and then being a Canadian and my grandparents live in Souk, I was like, well, the island is nice and it's not as cold. So yeah, and then looking at the program, as she mentioned, the tripartite program was nice because I was already sort of used to that at our school in Saudi. They already gave you arts and sports opportunities and the fact it was kind of weird to think that schools wouldn't do that. So it was nice to know that Broad made a point to still keep those in the curriculum. So. I'm mostly it was hearing about it from friends like Yaz and like other people within the Aramco community, uh, which had already started hearing about Brentwood at that point, and there weren't that many people here, but there were enough to where you'd hear about it. And then Mr. Johnson's charisma kind of pulled me into like, wow, this is actually a pretty good place. And then I started looking at the brochures, and then, well, I found myself here. Um, I'd recommend Brentwood to anyone from the Gulf states because it truly allowed me to be the person I wanted to be. It allowed me to explore uh, different aspects of myself that I wasn't able to do elsewhere. Like, I'm able to do so many different things and like, it's totally okay here. And I think that's a really important thing people should be able to do to be able to explore themselves and what they like and what they don't like so they can figure out who they truly are. I'd recommend Brentwood to anyone who wanted to learn and learn more about themselves, but specifically to people in the Gulf states and the Middle East, like it's no different, but for the specific concerns of the region, like the travel, it's totally worth it and you're gonna have to leave the nest at some point probably. So it's nice to start to get more comfortable with that early on and it does give you a bit of a, an advantage almost ahead of the people who are leaving home for the first time in university. You've already done that, that's one less thing to worry about. And it's part of the culture, like Isaac said, this is a boarding school, which was another reason <laughs> that I really like Brentwood. It's not unusual to have people coming from all over the place who have to deal with jet lag and maybe won't want to go to <laughs> class because they're, you know, sleeping still. <laughs> so, yeah, I, if you're worried about those specific concerns, I, it's not something to worry about because there's tons of support here at Brentwood and people are used to dealing with you <laughs> and us. So, yeah, it's not really an issue. I recommend Brentwood to someone coming from the Middle East because I think it's just a really good gateway coming from somewhere that's more subdued into like a more uh, liberal society and it's a really good gateway like David said makes you more independent so when you go to university. Kind of looking back as a grade 12 on the entirety of my journey at Brentwood I know I've garnered skills that I wouldn't have been able to garner back at home. Uh, this interdependence and independence, uh, this ability to try out new opportunities as other people have said, uh, and this ability to feel like I am actually prepared going into university. It's a terrifying thought to go to university, but I know that Brentwood has at least provided me with some intrinsically important tools to handle that.